Hi, I'm right here in the city of Valletta, Malta. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you the best things to do right here in Valletta. Stay tuned and enjoy. If you are new to this channel, if this is the first time you are coming across my videos, in this channel, my mission is to visit every country on head, where we will learn about the uniqueness of every country, the people, the culture, the tradition, lifestyle, and a little bit all aspects of life. So do me a favor by clicking the subscribe button and turn on the notification on as I take you to all country on head. The Republic Street. It is the principal street in Valletta. It is about one kilometer long. It is known for legislative, judicial, and commercial purposes. So this street is mainly only for pedestrians. It's only for walking. So they are not allowed. Any vehicle is not allowed here. Strictly not allowed here. Except maybe early in the morning, uh, vehicles that are coming here to deliver, to do delivery for the shops here. And it's only in the morning. So, this is one of the best places to check out. Look at it. It's about one kilometer long. There is a lot of people filled the air in each afternoon and each evening. So, it's only in the morning. Even those vehicles that are coming to deliver is allowed. Imagine that. So, it's very attractive. There are a lot of bars, shops. A lot of things you can do in the streets. The St. John Co. Cathedral. This cathedral is dedicated to St. John the Baptist. It was built by the order of St. John the Baptist in 1572 to 1577. You can also discover the eight chapels and each dedicated to one of the language of the order and are richly decorated. This is one of the great places you need to visit if you are coming to Malta. And also the pillars and walls are all covered with magnificent golden decorations. And also you will have the opportunity to admire Caravaggio paintings. Great thing, great, great things to see. And where you can take even some great pictures inside this place. Grandmaster Palace. This palace was built between 16th to 18th centuries as the palace of the Grand Master of the Order of St. John, who ruled Malta and was also known as the Magistral Palace. So this is another great place you can come and hang out and take a lot of pictures, photos, and there are restaurants and bars in almost around all uh, tourist sites. There is a lot of restaurants, a lot of things to do and see also. The palace is currently undergoing some renovations. Nowadays, the palace is now the resident of the president of the country. And it is really surprising, despite housing the president of the country, you can also still come to this place and visit it for free. So it is amazing because part of the building is used as a museum where you can visit the state rooms, the armory. There is a lot of collections of weapons of ancient times and it will give you a glimpse of eye how war was back then.
St. Elmo and the National War Museum, this place was built by the Knights in 1552 in order to protect Valletta Harbor. And historically, it is known for one of the most tragic events that happened here in Malta because of the great siege of more than 30 days. It was captured and bombed by the Turks and almost 1,500 men were killed that was defending this place. And few centuries later, during the World War II, it acted as a major defensive infrastructure but it was also bombed by the Italian Royal Air Force. In addition of being a very memorial and important place for the Maltese people, today this very place hosts the National War Museum. So if you are interested to know about the history of Malta, it is a great place to visit. I saw something here, someone lying down, statue of someone lying down, and uh, there's something written here. Let's see. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Uh, okay, I think this is uh, the 1,500 people that died defending the harbor of Valletta. So it is in remembrance of these great warriors. Casa Rosa Piccola. This is a 16th century palace that is located in the heart of Valletta. And this palace includes a restaurant that is called La Gera Restaurant, which is over there. The palace is here and the restaurant is over there. Yeah, you can also, if you're tired, you want to drink something or eat something, you can also sit down and get something before you continue your journey. Inside the palace, you will learn about the culture and the history of the Maltese aristocratic family. You will be able to visit 12 rooms inside this palace and discover private collections of marquees and as well objects of the daily life of past centuries which is very very valuable to look into what has happened before our time and at the end of your visit you can also go and see the air raid shelter dug during the second world war so it's very very important The National Museum of Fine Art, which is known also as Moza, which is just beside me here. Yeah? It is located in the city center, just in front of the Grand Master Palace. So it's very, all these places, most of the sites are very easy to locate. It has a lot of great paintings, sculptures, and important furnitures. And don't miss the section of the weapons of the clients. You will see their costume and other weapons. Maybe you came from Teatre Manuel. This is the third most oldest theatre in Europe and it was built in 1731. It is an important performing art venue in Malta. It is undergoing renovation now, but this small and pretty theatre is worth a look because it has an elegant baroque hall with its impressive golden slender. What a look. And you can also come here for a theatre show and other performance or other events you can also attend in this place. The National Museum of Archaeology. 
This museum was built at the same time as the city in 1571. It housed the provincial speaking knights of Malta. It is a very small museum, but it is very complete and well done. You will learn about the history of this country back to 5000 BC to 2500 BC before Christ. It presents all kinds of objects and also prehistory and megalithic temples discovered on the Iceland back then. The upper barracat and the lower barracat, where you can also have a panoramic view. The inside, there are also statues of prominent leaders of the world. And there are also bars. You can also sit down and drink something. There are also a lot of chairs where you can also just hang out with your friend or with loved ones. And you can also meet the Maltese in this place and also other tourists because this is a very touristic place. So if you have been paying close attention until now, you have already seen me in the lower baraka, but I didn't go inside the garden. So right now I'm here in the garden of the upper barracat. Oh, it's beautiful. You can even just come and sit down. A lot of things to see. Look at it. So all these are guns. See that? Are guns. So we were in the other side, but I didn't go inside the garden to be able to come out there. But I was very close, which is very, very beautiful. So it's a very great place to check out if you are visiting uh, Valletta. It's one of the number one place they are asking me to come and share with you guys. about history of the world war and the city of Valletta and Malta as a whole in this place there is a lot of historical write-ups and a lot of things you will see here in all the walls here there are important dates and important uh, uh, honors and for the soldiers and people who died during the world war and a lot of things history you will learn in this place it's a very historic place the three cities you can visit the three cities which is number one is victorusia something like that and the second is sanglia uh, singlia and uh, the third one is cos piqua something like that sorry my maltese people if you are interested this is another great activity to do there are other great places and great sites to visit in the city but this is for me my best places so I hope you like this video and you find the information helpful. Good luck. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos as I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye-bye.